Hey y'all, we live, we live. I got the cat sweater, I got the short shorts. Is that what you wanted? I hope so. Because that's what I'm giving you today. This gorgeous piece of designer clothing. I didn't know how I could trump the, uh, the donut tights, but this is my best attempt right now. Um, you know, I'm about that cat life, regrettably. You know Dykes from my Instagram. She's sitting in my warm laundry. Well, I'm out here working my ass for you guys. I'm glad to see some people in the comments already. See, th this, Marcelo's in the house too. JP, Josh, who else we got? Kara, what's up? Nassim's in the house. Thanks for viewing everybody. Uh, this is what this is about, what you guys are doing right now. Of course, the workout is great. It's gonna keep us healthy. Um, on that note, I don't know about any of you, but I'm more sore right now than I am on normal pre-quarantine days. Maybe it's because we're making these workouts extra saucy to, to be occupied at home. Or maybe it's just different because it's calcium. So anyway, I'm loving it. I hope you're loving it too. I'm really feeling this stuff. The workout is what we're providing. However, this community interaction that I'm seeing right now with you guys, that I'll come read some more in a second. The screen's too far away. That's what the real medicine is right now. Because we're removed, because we're physically isolated, we need to be connected in any way possible. Community is the big piece here. That's what we do. That's what we pedal here at the gym. So let's keep it going in the comments, in the comments afterwards. I'll interact as much as I can between sets. You guys are wild. Get your water. All right, it's leg day. I miss you all, but this is about to be a crazy one. Uh, if you were in for yesterday with Shanae, my abs are completely wrecked. I don't know about you all, but uh, definitely feeling it. And uh, my back's a little sore still, so uh, since Wednesday, I believe. Enoch, if you're out there, you mentioned that to me. I'm definitely feeling the back stuff. So tomorrow, you need your quarantine buddy. Tomorrow, we're going to do a pull day. I'm bringing my roommate Adam in here. Uh, we'll either do it here or at where I live, the apartment. Anyway, whoever you're with, um, grab that person. If you're isolated solo completely, I feel for you. Uh, repeat one of those old workouts and wait for the next day. But tomorrow, I'm going to need you to grab that quarantine partner. They don't need to be the same size. They don't need to be the same strength. Whatever. We're going to do some pulls with each other. Love you too, Marcelo. Oh, well, have a nice work day. This will be available later, although it's way more fun live. So maybe keep it open while you're working. Throw us some shade in the comments. Tomorrow, partner. Today, what we need is some kind of ball thing. You can use a tennis ball. Um, I realize many of you don't have a tennis ball. Use your dog's play ball, your kid's small play ball. Or just get a pair of socks and do like the fold thing you that you do in your drawers so it's like a ball shape. It just needs to kind of be able to scoop around the floor. I'm going to go grab my tennis ball. You hang on while you grab yours. I'll give you a moment. Get something. You could use a lacrosse ball too. If if you're in the community, you should have a lacrosse ball. As you know, we use it for our, uh, what do you call that, trigger point therapy? That's right. One of these guys, okay, it's great. Anything else works. So grab the ball. You're going to need your comfortable floor surface. I'm gonna get a mat once we get to the floor stuff. Um, when do we do the floor stuff? Towards the end. Yeah, so you'll need the floor at the very end. Most of this will be standing up. I also need you to grab some kind of sitting surface. So I've again got my lovely Ikea wooden chair here. So you can grab something like that, an ottoman, a bottom stair, a staircase, uh, you know, any of those good things you can sit on. Or as always, um, if you got your quarantine partner today, you'll make them stand on all fours and just take a seat on them. 
uh, for some box squats, one-legged box squats. You dig. So grab your surface, grab your ball, make sure you're close to your comfortable floor space, something to put your knees down on, and uh, get your hydration, of course. Get your Germex. Spray the area. Because this shit does survive in the air now for three hours, apparently. So says the research. I'll give you a moment. Very similar to yesterday. We're going to work two big skills. They'll both have pinnacle, most difficult versions. And uh, we'll build them up with a bunch of isolated moves on our way. So if you're at home and you find challenge with any of the preliminary levels, when we go back, you can, instead of escalating up the difficulty scale with us, you can stay on the same level and do the same thing, starting with the warm-up stuff first. So we will stand up, assuming we all have our stuff, get comfy, and we're going to loosen up the back side of the body with our ragdoll drill. Anywhere where you're comfortable, you can have your eyes open or closed. It kind of feels nice closed. Just make sure you know what's around you in case you fall when you fall. Excuse me. Starting with the chin down to the chest, slowly. Feel the muscles on the back of the neck. Get a nice stretch. Then a couple vertebrae down. Start to curve your shoulders and your upper back. Then work your way down, folding like a loose rag doll. The arms are hanging. The lower back now bends. I'm starting to feel some hamstring stretch. Move into the hamstrings. Legs are a little bit bent. Don't lock them completely. All the way down as far as you want to go. Let the head drape and chill. And slowly build your way back up. Starting with the knees getting a little straighter. Starting to fold this stuff straight while the upper body hangs heavy. Build it up. Build it up. Build it up. Keep that double chin. And the last thing we're going to want to do is get rid of that double chin. <sighs> yeah. And we'll do it again for the rag contract. Chin down first. Let everything drape. One little vertebrae at a time. Catalog each joint down the spine. Start curve, curve, curve. All the way down. Stretch the lower back. Start stretching the hamstrings as you get low. Everything's heavy. Tap the floor if you can get that far. And then we build our way back up. Starting with the knees, the lower back starting to stack. Roll up like a roly poly, a roly. Chin up at the end, get rid of that double chin. Take a big grateful breath. Do it again. Chin down, back of the neck, shoulders roll, upper back rolls, belly rolls, all the way down. Get the hamstring work. Let the head drape heavy and lazy and relax and maybe get a little lightheaded and enjoy that. Come on up. Stack, stack, stack. Be gentle with your lower back. Don't go fast. Space it out. Chin up last. We'll do one more together. Chin down. Upper back. Lower back. All the way down. Hi, guys. Little twerk. Start stacking up. Lower back. Middle back. Finish with the shoulders and look up nice and tall. Then we'll just kind of walk around, kick in the butt. I feel a lot of like upper quad region where my hip flexors attach from all the yesterday's intense boat poses. So maybe you're like me, you feel some good stretch right here. That's why we're doing this one. Get those quads moving around, kick in the butt, get the hamstrings active, get the quads a little bit stretched out. 
do a little dance. Ooh, ah, e, oh. Then we squat super slow together. A little bit wider than usual, so we get a little bit of an inner thigh stretch going on. I'll show you like half side view. Follow me on the way down, we're going nice and slow. Make sure we get the weight in the heels. I don't want to see this. I want to see that. All right, let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up. 9, 8, start breathing big. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we add the calf raise. Down, flat foot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, calf raise. Again, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven. Solid warm up. Five, I'm feeling already. Four, three, two, calf raise. One more, I'll show you from the front. Notice I'm trying to prevent this and encourage a little bit of that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Shake it out. Back to the hamstrings, stretching them out. We're going to simulate a good morning. So you can imagine you've got the barbell on your back. Put your hands where they would be. If you were doing a high bar barbell squat, I'll show you from the side first. I don't want the knees all the way locked, but not super bad. So just enough softness to enable this movement. The butt goes way back. The weight goes to the heels. Slowly descend. Arch the lower back. You know, usually when we do heavy barbell loaded spine stuff, I'm telling you, it's always to be neutral. But today we do that extra arch for warm up to get the extra stretch back here. If I bend my knees too far, I'll lose that stretch. If I round my back, I'll lose that stretch. So let's keep the knees stiffer and the lower back arched. Again with the countdown. Here we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Go as low as you want. Maybe it's lower than me, maybe not as low. And up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, squeeze. Down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. Nine, eight, Seven, good, gentle stretch. Five, four, three, two, one. One more, 10, nine, I'll fix my camera in the meantime. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And up, nine, eight, seven. Thank you, Jeff. Six, I'll lend it to you, five, but I think it's too small. Four, three, two, one. Relax. Okay, it's a little better. You see my floor now. Great. Now, we do a lot of different drills to get the glutes activated. I forgot to mention one other object. This could be that ball you already got. This could be a pen. This could be a water bottle cap. For me, I'm using this rag. Anything you can fit in between the cheeks. Go ahead, give it a squeeze. I'm using the rag so you can see. Grab that thing. Put it between your cheeks. If you're holding it, you're successfully activating your glute max. Now take a walk around your room and try not to let that thing go. Let's do it. 
major glute work. You better hang on to that. <laughs> Here we go. And if you don't feel your glutes, you probably drop that out of it. Keep it tight. I might do some reverse. Keep walking. Try to get around the room. Oh no! If you drop it like that, get back in there. Squeeze those glutes. One of the few ways I know how to confirm you're working the glutes. Otherwise, it's just hearsay. Another 20 seconds. 19. Damn. This is kind of difficult. 16. 15. 14. 13. 12. 11. Keep walking. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Good. Toss that object. Now practice the flex you just did, because we're going to want to do it at the end of every big hip extension today. Just the grab. The grab. Hold that object and grab it. Let's do about 30 of those. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. You should feel ridiculous, okay? 17, 16, have a little bit of fun. 15, we're all going crazy. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's glue work, my friends. Grab that ball next. Put it on the floor in front of you. Okay. This one is going to require your imagination a little bit. So, you're going to stand right in front of that thing. And I'm going to stand on one leg, like we love to do in here. All right? Imagine that object has paint on it. And wherever you roll it on the floor, it'll make a mark. Let's start by drawing the number one on the floor with your object. So I'm going to go out, make a straight line, come back in. I've drawn the number one. Now, let's draw the number two. You decide how big to make that number. Of course, the bigger it is, the harder it's going to be for you. I'm going to draw a big number two. Use your imagination. Have some fun. The goal is to distract ourselves from the pain of the one-legged stand. Good. Now let's draw number three. You can start at the top or the bottom, whatever. Use the ball. Pretend it's got paint on it. Big number three. If you're done already, make the number bigger. Good. Here we go for four. Draw the number four on the ground with that ball. And I'm starting to feel the standing leg a little bit. Draw the number five. Big five on the ground. And that loop at the bottom. Now, for sure, that standing leg is working. Hang on, let's go to number six. We're going to go to ten. So try to hang in there. Number seven, draw a big seven. And you can omit that little hash in the middle. If you're a geek like me and draw it like that. Now, an H, draw that infinity symbol, upright. Big eight on the ground, two loops. Nine, we're almost there. Draw the nine. Nine. And the last one, ten. We need a line and a circle. And a big circle. Good. Switch legs. That standing leg should be on fire. Now the other one. Get a little closer so I can show what I'm doing. Here's the number one with the left leg there. Or the other one. Number two, paint it on the floor with your object. Big, 
Big number three, start at the top. Now draw number four. Try to make it precise. Don't just flail around. Remember what we talked about yesterday. You can easily go through the motions. Now draw number five. Or, or you can be progressive with every single rep you do here. Try to make it better than the last one, more controlled than the last one. Number six now. Paint the number six on the ground. And that standing leg should feel it now. Number seven. If you're handling this well, make the numbers larger. Now draw number eight on the floor. Let's get it. A big eight. Right here. 
It's not a big move. We're not really sweating yet. My heart's not going crazy yet. But this is great lower leg supported work before we get into all this stuff. Give me another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake them up. Very good. Excellent lower leg work. Okay. Now we're going to need our surface to sit on as we get into the big moves. Here's my chair. Another camera fix. I was just not prepared today. And really, that was the delay. I slept in. It was pretty nice. On that note, this message is brought to you by sleep. You need it. It's one of the best immunosupportive preventative health exercises you can engage in. So make sure tonight you get a little bit of that. That's one thing I'm getting during this little quarantine action since I'm not waking up at five every day like usual. Sit on it. We want the weight to be a little bit out front. So I'm not sitting as I would for dinner. I'm sitting as I would ready to hop up off the chair at any moment. And my chest forward. My weight is in my heels. My hands are forward. And without swinging, I'm going to lift. And that's our box squat. Let the hips go back. The weight's in the heels such that I can wiggle the toes inside my shoes and not fall. I'm going to drop. Quick break without sitting back, and I come up. And every time we get to the top of these big moves today, I want you to imagine that drill that we did. It was silly, but it's for a purpose. So grab it with the cheeks. Hips back, pause, come up. Grab it with the cheeks. Hips go back, pause, come up. Grab it with the cheeks. We'll do another 15 together. Drop, squeeze. Drop, squeeze. Three, squeeze. Four, squeeze. Five, squeeze. Six, squeeze. Seven, squeeze. Eight, squeeze. Nine, squeeze. Still able to wiggle my toes. Ten, squeeze. Eleven, squeeze. Twelve, squeeze it. 13, squeeze it. 14, squeeze it. 15, squeeze it. Now come down and take a seat. Lift just enough to have air space underneath your butt. Just enough air space to put a piece of paper in there. And balance. I'm not relaxed on the chair. I've got a little bit of air space. So the weight is in our legs. We're going to hold you for 30 seconds. Try to make sure your toes can lift inside the shoes. So the weight is in the heel. Quad should be feeling. No matter how low your surface is, this one is tough. It's like a wall set or a horse. Another 15, 14, hang on, 13. Don't surrender to the chair. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, still floating. 3, 2, and come up. Good. And right away, join me for a fast 15 seconds. Get as many of those taps as you can. Here we go. Just to finish the burn. At the top of every rep, grab the cheeks again, grab the object. Well, imagine it. Don't actually do it. Push your speed. Let's go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Relax. Good. Shake them out. Get your surface out of the way or move somewhere else where you still see the TV. Now, we have deadlift. Real simple. We already simulated it with the good morning. Now we slide down the legs and bend the knees. Keep the back flat. On the way up, we're going to add a calf raise. Down, deadlift. Come up, calf raise at the top. Big toes carrying the weight. Look, not that, this. Big toes with the weight. Heels down, go for it. Deadlift, come up, calf raise. Down, 
Up, calf raise. Down, up, calf raise. Deadlift. Up, calf raise. Deadlift. Nice and gentle and smooth. Up, calf raise. Again. Up, calf raise. Down. Up, calf raise and squeeze the cheeks down. Up, calf raise. Another 10. Up, calf raise. Nine. Up, calf raise. Eight. Up, calf raise. Seven. Up, raise. Six. Up, raise. Five. Up, raise. Four. Up, raise. Three. Up, raise. Two. Up, raise. Last one. Up, raise. Very good. Simple stuff. Going back to the first movement style, the squat movement style, you can repeat what we just did, the regular two-legged squats, or you can join us for the one-legged box squat variation. Same rationale, we're just standing on one leg. So I'm going to start with my weak leg, like I always enjoy doing to humble myself a little bit. Give me a very fair assessment of where I'm at with this move. My heels are close to that surface. Actually, why don't we just take a seat so we know where we are. Take a seat, get your bearings. Come on up. Now, the strong leg floats. We must go back with the hips first. Don't bend the knee first. The knee isn't able to handle that well. It may be, but the hips are much more able to handle that extra force. So we're going to go hips back, still able to wiggle the toes inside that shoe. I don't want to see this. I want you to fall back into your heels. And we're going to descend slowly with control until we settle at that surface. Right? Now we understand it. You can wiggle yourself around a little bit. This one, because it's so much more difficult, I don't mind a little swing and a little arm reach. Okay? This one doesn't have to be perfect. This is a little more of do whatever it takes to get yourself off the chair. Join me. Let's lift for the first one, figure it out, and stand with balance. Good. Now, if you're doing the two-legged version, if you're not ready for this yet, just do every rep we're doing on two legs. If you're with me on the one leg, do exactly as I'm doing. Stand on that weak leg and sit. And lift. Sit. Lift. Sit. Lift. Lift. Sit. Lift. Five. Lift. Six. Lift. Seven. Lift. Eight. Lift. We're going to 20. Nine. Lift. 10. Lift. 11. Lift. 12. Lift. 13, lift, 14, up, 15, up, 16, almost there, up, 17, lift, 18, lift, 19, lift, 20, lift, switch legs, or if you're on two legs, just continue. Let's get it, strong leg, 20, up. 19, up, 18, up, 17, up, 16, up, 15, up, 14, get it, 13, don't mind the wobble, 12, up, 11, up, 12, up, 13, Wait, what? 10, <laughs> up, nine, up, don't mind my counting, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, get stronger while you're stuck inside, three, up, two, up, one, up, two legs, we're going back to that hover and hold. Find the bench, 
Get off just enough for a piece of paper, and we'll hold it. 20 seconds. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. 14. Weight is in the heels. 13. 12. 11. 10. 9. 8. 7. Stay strong and stubborn. 5. 4. 3. 2. And we're up. Shake them up. Grab a sip of water if you'd like, and I'm away from that surface once again. Now we just need regular floor space for one leg at dead. Let's, I'm going to take a sip. I'm sweating. How are we feeling? Was that difficult for anybody else? It might just be because my chair is low, but who knows, man. That was... Those one-legged squats always get me. Anybody? Marty? I know you're a master of the one leggeds. Jeff, who's in here still? Woo! Yeah, okay, great. Confirmed. Josh approved. Thank you guys. So now we're back to the deadlift movement sequence. Again, you can repeat here with the calf raise like we did. Who is this? Oh yeah, Marty. Thank you. Kevin, too. Okay. Nassim. Everybody approves. That's what's up. Oh! Now I'm breathing heavy. So, the deadlift style, once again. You can follow along with us every single rep. Do the deadlift on two feet. Or, if you're ready, we're going to go into the one legged deadlift with calf raise. This gets a little tricky. I'll stand here first. And as we know, we got to kick that back leg back as step one. I don't see any of this stuff. We must make a line from the heel to the back of the skull. And that line is what leads the steering. If this is as low as you can get with a straight line, I'm pleased. If you break the line, you're able to get lower. I don't want to see that. Let's keep the line. Oh, Jeff approves too. Very nice. You know it's for real when you get Jeff approval. He's a monster. I'm getting away from myself. See, Josh, this is why I need you here to keep me on task. When I'm solo, I just get stupid. One legged deadlift with the calf raise. Again, start on your weak leg. You better. And make that habit. Always start on that weak side. Very good for us. Good for the ego. <laughs> Healthy egos. Knee up. Bend the standing leg. Kick the back leg behind us. Try to tap the ground with that straight line. Boom. On the way up, use a little momentum from the hands and the free leg and get a one-legged calf raise. I'll show that calf raise again. Swing. Woo. Like so. You might fall. It's okay. Leg back. Tap the floor or somewhere close. Come up. Get the calf raise. Two. Here we go for three. Tap the ground. Come up. Calf raise. Three, sorry, four. Hit the ground. Calf raise. Up. Five. Hit the ground. Calf raise. Six. Hit the ground. Calf raise. Seven. Hit the ground. Calf raise. Eight. Hit the ground. Calf raise. Nine. Hit the ground. Calf raise. Ten. Hit the ground. Calf raise. Eleven. Hang in there. Hit the ground. Calf raise, 12. Hit the ground. Calf raise, 13. Hit the ground. Calf raise, 14. Hit the ground. Calf raise, 15. Hit the ground. Calf raise, 16. Hit the ground. Calf raise, 17. Almost there. Hit the ground. Calf raise, 18. Hit the ground. Calf raise, 19. Hit the ground. Calf raise, relax. That's 20. Shake it out. Now the strong leg. This should be easier, right? Let's go. Knee up first. Bend the standing leg. Hit the ground. Up. Calf raise. That's one. Hit the ground. Calf raise. Two. Hit the ground. Calf raise. Three. Hit the ground. Calf raise. Four. Hit the ground. Up. Five. 
Hit the ground. Up, six. Down, up, seven. Down, up, eight. Work that back leg. Down, up, nine. Raise the back leg. Up, up, ten. Down, up, eleven. Down, up, twelve. Woo! Down, up, thirteen. Get the calf raise. Back leg. Up, fourteen. Down, up, fifteen. Down, up, sixteen. Down, up, seventeen. Down, up, eighteen. Down, up, nineteen. Last one. Down, up, twenty. And chill. Now, kind of a chair pose. Fake that good morning again. So stick in the legs. Arch the lower back. Raise the arms forward. And now I'm going to bow to the space in front of me. Bowing down to the torso a couple inches and up. Now we pulse. Pulse. Pulse at the hips. This is my joint of concern here. We're not bending the knees. Up and down here. Bowing to the space in front of you. Imagine your hands are ferns and you're blowing a little bit of wind. Let's get a little bit lower. Keep the pulse. Keep blowing the ferns, the palms, whatever. Let's go. Feel the hamstring heat. Feel the lower back heat. Proceed. Proceed. Another 30. 29. 28. 27. 26. The belly should touch the thighs. 24. 20. Straighten the knees a little bit. 22. 21. 20, 19, 18, 17, hang in there, 16, 15, halfway, 14, 13, 12, 11, lower back, 10, hang in there, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Get out of there. Meow. Meow. What? There's Enoch. What's up? I'm sweating now. Hopefully you can see. That was kind of brutal. Some of these things aren't planned, like that little bowing the fern situation. <laughs> Jeff, you know, my counting is a, a little challenged, but time is just a construct, right? The Rona, <laughs> the Rona got me. Okay, so where are we now? Um, we're back to squats, back to one-legged squats. So this is where it gets ridiculous and super saucy. You got two options. Well, a couple options actually. You can continue with the two-legged squat on the chair. You can continue with the one-legged squat on your chair. You can find a lower surface. Or you can go surfaceless and go to the floor with me. <sighs> Enoch, ridiculous. Yeah, you don't want me counting the quarantine time because then it'll last until like June or something. My counting's terrible. I suppose slower is better. We want bonus time, don't we? Right? Wouldn't you have more reps than, than fewer? I mean, right? And then like when you do a one minute plank with your friend. If it's a nomad minute, you're really doing a minute and a half and your friend will get crapped out at 45 seconds and you'll be fine. I'm preparing you for the world. Okay. How about no legs? Yeah. I mean, that's possible if you can float. Um, <laughs> so pick your poison. Maybe you find a lower surface. That's what I'd recommend for most of you watching. 
is finding a lower surface. Uh, I don't know what that looks like in your home. Maybe if a phone book still existed, we could stack up a couple of those. Uh, something that can carry your weight, because we're going to have to drop all the way down for it. What I'm going to do is, it's a set of eight, by the way. We were doing 20. It's just eight now. So I want it to be difficult. I want it to be a super challenging weight, because it's much fewer repetitions, less than half. Find a lower surface. Or do the same thing with a lot more control. I'm going to see if I can do eight off the ground. I don't believe I've ever done eight, but uh, now's the time to give us ourselves a challenge, right? So, one-legged squat can be to the surface, can be to a lower surface, or we're going to try to do the whole deal, the whole together, as they say. All right, out in space, let's get the first one done. Number one. I don't know if I got eight. Number two. Cheer for me. I'm cheering for you guys. Three. Woo! Four. Five. Woo! Six. Two more, seven. Last one, eight, get it. Whoa. Nice work, other leg, here we go. Service or nothing or whatever. Give me eight, down. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, last one, right away, regular squats, get away from your surface, join me for 20, drop, up, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And don't forget to squeeze the object at the top between your cheeks. Eight, nine, ten, another ten, nine, eight, seven. Get them. Six, your chosen depth. Five, four, three, keep moving, two for the kitty, and one. Another break, I think. Wow. I'm kind of dead today. Hmm. So, happy to hear that takeout restaurants are still open. Now, you want to be careful, of course. Like I said a couple days ago, I went to In-N-Out. Sorry. I went into a restaurant, a one-location restaurant, not to speak on all of their locations. And it didn't seem like they were taking any extra care. So I went elsewhere, and I got lucky enough to, at the second location, they seemed to be taking much more care. Who am I to say I'm not an epidemiologist? Anyway, just you know, pick your battles carefully. The point I was getting to is businesses, especially small local businesses, are having a tough time, obviously. So are many of you watching. I appreciate uh, any support you can give to those small businesses. I was happy to get a nice takeout order last night at a Mediterranean place. It was delicious. I was the only person in there to pick up at the time. Uh, so I get it, everybody's hurting a little bit, everybody's affected. So we're in this together. Spread the goodness that you can spread. If it's financial, awesome. If it's moral, maybe even better, maybe even more effective. Um, for me, it's tuning in here. So I see you guys in the comments. 
that makes my day. That makes me feel like my purpose is still alive. So I appreciate you being here, doing this, sweating with me in the comments. It's fun. Uh, so try to do that for somebody else too. You know, my gift is the time I'm spending here. And uh, a part of your gift is being here watching me, letting me know that you care about it, letting me know that it still serves a purpose in your own life. Um, try to do a little gift of, of whatever that looks like for you to somebody else, because we all need it. And we're in this together. Remember, even though you might be alone physically, you're not alone in the challenge. Back to deadlifts, of course. Enough preaching. The final deadlift variation is a one-legged paused jump. This shit is saucy, okay? I don't know if you've ever done these in class here, but, um, you know, here we are today. <laughs> and a lot of these things are what we do in the absence of equipment. I'm trying to cater this stuff to the situation. So this is one of those moves that is very intense, can be used as the main strong move in a workout, and it doesn't need any equipment to be heavy and difficult. So. Here we are using it today in the absence of workout gear. Let me show you a few, and then I'm going to guide you through a set of eight per leg. The one-legged jump starts with the motion you already learned, and that's the using the three limbs, the free, the three free limbs, to generate momentum enough to get a calf raise on the free limb. So let's all do a few of those, just a calf raise. And once you get comfortable enough, try to leave the ground a little. Notice a quiet, gentle end, or as quiet and as gentle as I can possibly do. That requires us to bend the knee, the calf, all that good stuff. Absorb it soft. None of this. None of this. We don't want that. Land with a gentle, soft leg. Three legs. Now we've mastered that, all we do is put the one leg deadlift into it. And our pause will be at the bottom of the one-legged deadlift. Let me show you a couple. Position one is here. Then we slowly, well, we'll eventually quickly come up, bring that knee in, get the calf raise in the jump, and then we come right back down to the deadlift. Here. Now watch for the jumps. Up and return here for the pause. Up, return for the pause. Up, return for the pause. All right, so get your feeling on that, and then we're going to start. Starting at five, four, three, two. Stand on the leg. I'll see you with the pause. I'll see you with the bottom. When I say jump, we'll jump, and then I'll see you with the bottom again and wait. Jump, wait. Jump, wait at the bottom. Get your bearings. Jump. Wait. Jump. Wait. Jump. Wait. Jump. Wait. Another two. Jump. Wait. Last one. Jump. And relax. Other leg right away. See you at the bottom of the deadlift. Wait. Jump. Wait. Jump. Wait. Jump, wait, jump, wait, jump, wait, jump, wait, two more, jump, wait, last one, jump, wait, relax, good. Again, in the first leg, now we're going to do six, no, six, <laughs> six reps, the first leg, see at the bottom, jump. Wait, jump, wait, jump, wait, jump, wait, jump, wait, jump. Other leg, see at the bottom, six. Up, wait, up, wait, up, wait, up, wait, up, wait. Last one, relax. Now we have four per leg. Back to the first one. See at the bottom? Jump, wait, jump, wait, jump, wait, jump, wait. Other leg, last four. Up, 
wait, up, wait, up, wait, and up, chill. Done with the one legged jumps. Very good. JP. <laughs> our, our big stuff is done. We have one final sequence remaining. Thanks for sticking around for the hour. Now we need our floor space. So get the comfortable floor. If you have sensitive knees, if you don't want to put your knees on the ground, I understand. With every rep of quad extensions on our knees, we do, you can do a squat again. Let me bring that surface over. Get ready for it. These moves are much smaller now. No more squats, no more deadlifts. Take a seat, and I'm on my knees now. Begging you, please, baby. Comfortable knee space. A good strategy if you have a mat is just double it. Put your knees on the doubled region. Whatever works for you. This could be a hoodie, a pillow. I'll give you a moment to figure that out. And then we're going to sit with our laces down like that. Not tucked. Lace it down. If you also got ankle issues, maybe avoid this one and get back up and do squats with every rep of quad extension for you. While you get your surface ready, I'll demonstrate a few of these genie leg extensions. It's in the app, yes? The big challenge is keeping the body at the hip planked. So we should never break at the hip joint. All right? If it's too heavy, we just limit the range of motion. Now, a little more from the side so you can see that. None of this, plant. My arms go out front, and I slowly load the quads with a little power. Go as far as you want to go, and come up. Again, ankle, knee, patellar tendon issues, maybe you choose to do squats instead. Join me for 16. Go as low as you want to go. Of course, the lower is more difficult. If at any point you need to fail, just break it down and take a seat. Shall we? I'm up. I'm planked. Arms forward for counterweight. Go. Descend. One. Descend. Two. Descend. Feel the quads. Three. Descend. Four, descend, five, come on back, six, body plank, I'm starting to fail at that, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, back, 11, five more, back, 12, Woo! back, 13, hang in there, we'll be doing one side of these, back, 14, two more, make them count, back, 15, the last of these, back, 16, oh. Oh. one move remains. One move. It's our long leg glute bridge. I'm gonna bring us low so we can see what's happening at the floor. Okay, let's try it. Oh. Alrighty, final move of work. Just hanging out with me if you've made it this far. If your mat looks like this, all sweaty, you're doing it right. For the glutes, a little bit of the hamstrings. I'm on my back, just like we were uh, on the first back day. So workout number two. I got my legs way out, almost totally straight, but a little bit. Hands can be wherever. I'm lifting my butt off the ground just enough to get the airspace. 
Look how my feet bow out too. When I go to the ground, my feet come back in. When I come up, my feet go out. All right? You're going to join me for 100 reps. You heard it right. 100 reps. Try to follow my pace. When I say the number that's up, I'm just counting up. Once we finish this, it's over. You ready? Get your set up and go. One and two and three, four, five, six, a little faster. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Hump it. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, sixty, seven, two, three. We're getting there. Four, five. We're gonna make it. Six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 90 last 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold that last one. You better hold that airspace under the butt. Keep the hips high. Hold with me for 20, 19, 18. Holding in the sky. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, hang it, 9, 8, shake it, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two. And we did it. That concludes twerk out. Number five with me and all of you. Lovely work. Thank you so much. Uh, take your time to stretch afterwards if you'd like. There was a lot of back of the leg work. So maybe just that double hamstring stretch is nice. Go ahead and round the back, chin down, let it drape, reach. Hold it for a good two minutes or more if you got time. I know you got time. <laughs> you know I got time. Shit. Uh, or more if you got time. I know you got time. <laughs> you know I got time. Shit. Uh, that was a good one. Thanks for hanging out for the hour again. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. or 1.05. <laughs> I seem to have an issue with that, if you know me. <sighs> Maybe this is the right time to address it. <laughs> anyway, hit me in the comments with suggestions about the next workouts. Anything you want to see, anything you want to use, anything you don't like about what we've already done. Tomorrow, you need your quarantine, buddy. I've got mine. And if you don't have one... You can't do tomorrow's workout. I apologize. Uh, repeat one of these old ones and know that most of them will not require a buddy. So uh, I'm trying my best to look out for all of us in all situations. <sighs> you can find this sweater on Amazon or not because I think they're only shipping essential items right now. Is that true? Can anybody confirm in the comments? Amazon? Anybody working at Amazon right now? Anyway, uh, eventually, maybe I'll link this sweater if you want it. That was a good one. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kara. Thanks for chiming in. I appreciate it. And you, Marty, and Nassim, and Josh, and Marcelo, and Enoch, and Kivan, and everybody who's letting me know today that... Uh, what we're doing here is helpful and productive. So uh, I appreciate it. I have no master plan like you. I'm kind of feeling a little bit aimless, but 
the fact that you're all here gives me the purpose, the aim once more. For sure. Pound it. You know. Bow. Bow. Love you guys. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Be careful. Support some local uh, food vendors if you can, if you feel safe to do so. Uh, keep supporting us by showing up here every day at one.